Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. The plot has thickened, folks. The plot has thickened because we got ourselves some update on our Mark Jeweler Fooler situation. How do you like that little rhyme I just made up? Kind of like the Tinder Swindler, but this one's going to be the Mark Jeweler Fooler. Do you think that we can get that one to stick? I don't know. I don't actually even know if we can still confirm that this is a Mark Jeweler Fooler situation. You know, this could still be a CGC, you know, misunderstanding or something going on over there. But we have some interesting developments to talk about in this video here today that I wanted to share with you guys uh, so that we can kind of, you know, really start to get to the bottom of this situation. Shout out to all of the people participating on the CGC forums right here. You can see ASM 252 CGC 98 record sale, something fishy going on where this user posted my video. And this spawned a very, very long discussion with a lot of, you know, forum detectives doing their own work, doing their own research, finding out more about the situation and the sale. And we've actually had some really interesting developments occur in this forum here. Also shout out to the West Coast Day Avengers YouTube channel. Uh, West Coast Day Avenger has had a 99 newsstand on it, and they've had a lot of great uh, live streams uh, discussing some of the developments of the story. Of course, in my last video, I talked about you know uh, that I would do an update to follow along with this. And you know, overall, my goal with this story is not necessarily to you know get everyone to raise pitchforks and and you know out you know, the scammer or whatever it is. I mean, really the goal, and I think the best outcome of this at the very least would be to get this, you know, type of information in front of the people over at CGC so that if they have some kind of, you know, security breach or some kind of, you know, process that has a blind spot in their reholdering program or whatever it is, that they can look into this and, you know, kind of clear out uh, whatever shenanigans are actually going on. If there in fact are shenanigans going on because again we can't really prove anything yet we just have a lot of interesting books and situations that we can continually point to and in this video i'm going to share those ones with you but of course before i get into that if you guys could like comment subscribe help support the channel doing those things i would appreciate it but let us get into this very interesting update here today. Now, of course, you ha I have in front of you uh, the CGC forum. I will put a link into this, the description. If you guys want to do your own reading with this, follow along. There's a lot of really, really great information that you know I'm not going to really be able to cover uh, everything in detail here. That would be like a three hour long video. Uh, but you guys can see this is a 21 page uh, forum so far. So uh, if you want to dive into this topic, definitely go check it out. Also, I will link uh, West Coast Avengers uh, last stream where they kind of discuss uh, with 99 Newsstand uh, you know, some of the interesting developments uh, in this story. But I wanted to kind of highlight to you guys just a couple other examples of books that have been sort of having that same kind of interesting, same cert number, but a reholder, but now it's a different book, presumably, and kind of show you guys that this isn't a coincidence, at least with this ASM 252 that we just saw. I mean, this is actually coming from the same eBay seller account. So let us jump to, you know, two of these examples here and we can kind of unpack this a little bit more. And then at the end of the video, ultimately I want to talk about, you know, what we can actually do about this. I think there's two different uh, things to really dive into, but I'm, of course I'm going to save that until after I get through these books. Well, here you have in front of you guys, this is all stuff that was taken from that CGC forum thread, but we have another New Mutants 98 Mark Jeweler insert new stand edition, a beautiful book another five figure copper age grail that a lot of people like to uh, collect so, you know very very rare to find these new stand mark jewelers in 98 condition uh, here we have one that is cert number 01803880004 okay a very very beautiful book that if we go over here to GPA we can see that this particular book actually sold on December 12th for 12,000 $700. There you see the cert number right there, 01803880004. A very, very big number, especially when you compare it to the previous sale of only $3,000 on July 11th, which also has the very, very same cert number, 01803880004. Somebody was able to get, you know, a 4X on their money. You know, in just a couple months, going from $3,000 of a purchase all the way to $12,700. I mean, that's the flip that dreams are made out of, right? Well, that certainly would be the dream if, in fact, you were doing it in an honest and upfront way. But here we have that actual sale of the $3,000 book back in July. And we can see that 
Kind of like the ASM 252, we see an old label, New Mutants 98, that is in fact a newsstand in a 98, but does not have the Mark Jeweler notation. So all of a sudden, somewhere in this process, it got reholdered to a new updated CGC case with the notation of a Mark Jeweler insert. But again, if you start to look closely at these two books right here, you'll start to see that they aren't really the same book. Now, there of course is little damages and, and little color breaking, you know, spine ticks and things like that that I can point out, but let's talk about the wrap first because I think the wrap is the most clear cut uh, version of you know us being able to tell that there are probably different books. Here you see at the bottom of this one right here in the, in the current updated CGC image of this book, you know, the last sale for this, we see that Domino's foot right there is cut off on the bottom. You don't see the white, as much white underneath her purple shoe. Whereas in this picture right here, you can see if I can zoom in as much as I can for you guys, which you know on this is not as easy, you can see that you see a clear white underneath her shoe. So A, B, A, B. Definitely not the same wrap going on. And this is even more evident when you look at the back. Pay attention to how far machine guns and six street tough levels, how much space, how much brick space there is here on the backside. Whereas if I pull up the backside of this one right here, you can see that machine and S or the M in machine and the S in street are nearly touching the edge of the book. Whereas here you see a good little, you know, I'm not going to call it a centimeter, but half of a centimeter in between. So again, A, B, A, B. Let me, let me, let me make this very, very clear. Can I zoom in anymore? Oh, come on, go collect. There you go. Look at that. Uh, one, two. One, two. So as you can see, the wraps on these books, once again, are not the same as they should be. And you have to sort of wonder, is this another situation where you have an older label that was a CGC 98 newsstand that this person bought for $3,000. Somehow over the course of the couple months, they were able to figure out some kind of way to get that book out, to slide in a different version of that book you know, that, that is maybe not the 9.8, maybe it's like a 9.4 or 9.6 that they were able to find with the Mark Jeweler, send it into CGC, get it through the reholdering program, and then get back the 9.8 Mark Jeweler newsstand edition of it to where they can then make a sale for that $12,000 range and make a profit of, you know, 4X and 5X and presumably give, you know, whoever is the buyer of this book, a version that may not actually be a 9.8. Hell, maybe it doesn't even have the Mark Jeweler in it. We don't actually know what is exactly happening here. All we can do is, you know, compare these images and these cert numbers and these variances in prices that we're seeing them go for and ultimately determine like, why are these books looking different? Like what is going on here? And why is this all coming from the very same eBay account? All very, very fishy uh, that this particular book came from there and also the ASM 252 came from there. And also this other example that I thought would be interesting to show you guys here. This Incredible Hulk 181.90 that has now this custom label with the Wolverine up there. Well, if we go into the history of this book, we can see that this one book, July 10th, with a certain number of 426-504-0003, sold for $9,995. And then if we go up here, find that same certain number, 426-504-0003, it sells for $7,100. Now, again, you could say, okay, well, he, he, they, they lost money on that situation. Or did they? Because here is the book that sold earlier in the summer, the 90 with the 426-504-0003, it has the old label. As you can see, it doesn't have that Wolverine on it. And again, I'm just going to highlight the wrap. You know, I don't want to spend too much time pointing out all the little nuanced flaws and things like that, because uh, trust me, there are. Uh, you guys can do your own work on this. But you can see that the wrap on this book has a very, very thin black line on the left-hand corner right there. But if we go into what this book got after it got presumably reholdered with the custom Wolverine up here, well, what do you see? You see a white wrap right here in the upper left corner. So again, this is the book in July. It gets reholdered and all of a sudden it comes back and it's got the white wrap right here with the custom label. And also, you know, a little color break up there in the upper right hand corner versus here. You don't see that color break. You know, I'm not gonna question the colors even though this one looks more red than this one, but you know, different lighting. So we're not gonna talk about the colors. Really it's the wrap that gives it away. So uh, once again, you have a book that has the same cert number 
that got reholdered into the custom label. And somehow magically, this book looks completely different with a completely different wrap, yet it's all coming from the same eBay account that had the same New Mutants 98 that had the same ASM 252. So what is going on here? Even though this book sold for less, I mean, if this person has the ability to buy certain books and actually reholder them, you know, and, and slip in different books, well, what does it really matter to him? He buys a Hulk 181 for $10,000. He takes out this legitimate 9.0 copy of it. He slides in an 8.0 copy or a 7.0 copy or hell, maybe he slides in a 9.0 copy that came from a, you know, um, 9.0 copy that is missing a Marvel value stamp. You know what I mean? Maybe he bought it for $4,000 or $5,000. He slides that in to this right here. You know, it's a completely different book. And then he sells it for $7,000. So he's down $2,000, but he only bought the book for, you know, whatever he bought it for, $4,000. So he's still up $3,000. And then he also still has the raw copy of the 9.0, which he can once again slab and sell that later for another $7,000. So if he has the ability to open up cases, get in new books, and then slip them through the hands of CGC, thanks to this, you know, reholdering or custom label thing, or, you know, maybe in this situation, it's updating an old label to a new label. You know, he has the ability to repeat the scam multiple times over and over and over again. And all the people on this forum are once again, pointing out all these interesting things that are happening. I mean, are people buying old cases? You know, do they have the parts, old labels? Like, you know, how are they pulling off the scam? Here's another one right here that I thought was really interesting. Here's a New Mutants 98, a 98 white pages that has the custom label. But I mean, look at that top of the book right there. You know, that giant, I don't know what you call it. Is that a chip or is that, you know, a color break or whatever it is? Either way, CGC gave this a 98. I mean, did they give this a 98? Or is this another book that got slid in here, you know, through the reholdering process uh, that he was able to, you know, convince that this, whatever it is, you know, we call it like an 8.0 copy was actually a 9A book. Again, coming from the same eBay account. So a very, very interesting situation going on, a very, very interesting developments overall with what we see where we're seeing this same trick where it's the same cert number that is getting reholdered into a different book and then, you know, whatever, whether that person is able to sell it for 5X or they sell it or whatever, you know, maybe they keep the other copy. There's some very interesting fishy stuff going on. Now, again, I'd like to point out, I don't actually know what's happening here. I don't think anyone actually knows what's happening here. I'm actually not even going to say or accuse this person or, or say that they're guilty, right? Because I actually don't know what's happening here. All I'm trying to do is give this situation a bit of a signal boost, you know? And, and ultimately for me, I think it's important that CGC reacts to this in some kind of way. I know a lot of people are talking about how CGC you know, should come out with some kind of statement. And I think in an ideal world, they would do that. I can understand if, you know, they're just, they don't want to actually say anything about this, right? Because they're, they're trying to protect their, their brand and, and their, their trust as much as possible. But my hope is again that, you know, I hope that someone at CGC looks at this. I hope that at the very least, you know, they, they look into what is going on here. And, you know, maybe if it, there's nothing to be had here, that's totally fine. But at least they can kind of shore up their security and, and shore up their, you know, reholdering process. Because at the end of the day, we need CGC to be trusted. I mean, I know there's a lot of people in the comments that, you know, hate slab books and things like that. And there's a big, you know, uh, pushback towards grading and all this stuff. But there's, let's just be honest, there's a lot of people that, you know, really do like what CGC does for the hobby. There's a lot of people that do like graded books. There's a lot of companies that uh, benefit from having you know books graded. A lot of dealers benefit from it. A lot of comic book stores benefit from it. I mean, there's a whole ecosystem that is built off of you know CGC and the trust that comes with it. I mean, I, I was on Reddit the other day uh, looking at a thread of uh, somebody who posted a picture of them unopening their CGC book and saying like, aha, free from its tomb. And then the person was asking, well, what, you, you, you just bought this book. Why did you buy a CGC one? He's like, well, you know, when I was buying online, you know, I want to know that I'm buying the right grade, even though I, I, I want to break it out from the CGC case. So it's really, really funny. Even if you don't like CGC, you know, in this online shopping world that we live in where you buy comic books, at the very least, you know, they provide some semblance of, you know, peace of mind for the grade that you're actually buying. But if we're in a situation where people are able to, you know, crack cases and slide in different books or abuse reholdering programs to where, you know, this number 
is not even close to what you think that you're buying or the notation on the label is not close to what you think you're buying, this is going to be a big problem. We need CGC to have you know the absolute best trust out there in the community. We, we need to believe in their numbers and their grading. And this is a very, very important thing that they need to you know look into if in fact somebody is abusing the system. On the other side of that, you know, from the collector side of things, it's very, very important, guys. You know, once again, that adage of buy the book, not the grade. I mean, a lot of people, you know, use that adage just kind of highlighting, you know, you want to make sure that you're buying a nice, say, 4.0 versus a faded colored 4.0, things like that. You know, you, you got to look at that stuff. But even more importantly, I mean, you really got to look at the book because you never know. Maybe you are getting scammed. You know, if you're somebody who wants to buy a 9.8 of a modern comic book, make sure that thing is a 9.8. Make sure you agree with that grade. Don't just blindly trust CGC because, you know, they're human too. Sometimes they're going to get it wrong with their grading. So make sure that you are also examining the book as best as you can. Well, folks, that is the update to this current situation. Again, it is very interesting to see that the same sort of pattern has been repeated on multiple different books, multiple different copies of things, and all done presumably by the same eBay account that is selling these books. And it's a very, very interesting developing story. Nobody knows what exactly is going on. Nobody knows how this person is exactly doing it. But again, my warning to you guys is to be careful out there. You know, if you guys want to do your own sort of reading on this forum, again, I will put a link in the description. I will also link uh, West Coast Day Avengers YouTube channel if you guys want to do um, watch the stream that he did with 99 Newsstand. And also, my ultimate hope is that somebody in CGC is listening out there and can look into the situation and potentially give us some answers on what is going on. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. See you on the next one.